Welcome. In front of me is a Google Pixel 6 and today I'll show you how to bypass the Google verification on this device. So, uh, obviously you can see that the phone I have right here is locked. Let me just flip it over, you can see this is the Pixel 6. And uh, yeah, let's get started with it. So, there's the pattern that was previously used to lock this device and then we can also tap right on the Google account and use that to verify uh, instead. But, assuming we don't know either of those, for the process, what we'll need is a SIM card. That's why I have one right here, SIM ejecto. And that SIM card does need to have some kind of pin on it. Uh, that can be even pin that you don't know, it doesn't really matter. It just needs to have a pin because once you insert a SIM card with a pin, it will kind of lock the device. Uh, and uh, yeah. So anyway, uh, before we insert it, you want to go back to the first page right here. And uh, I'll be honest, I'm going to be going through this process the first time uh, so i might get stuck at one point this is basically real time and doing it as i read so yeah uh, we're gonna pop in the sim card okay so there's the pen and now we're gonna Take it out. And as you can see, this keeps the device locked. So what you want to do is tap on this arrow as I did, then select manage, and this will open up notifications. I'm gonna move those out of the way. So we're in notifications right now. And in here, we're gonna, let me quickly check. So we're starting by going to app settings. From here, we're gonna select from drop down menu, uh, most recent, no, all apps, there we go. So you wanna select all apps. And from here, we're looking for settings, which probably will be somewhere at the bottom. There we go, settings, click on it. You want to click on the icon of the settings and then we're going to select open and quickly catch up here. Okay, so in the settings, we're going down to accessibility right over here. And where is it? There we go. Accessibility menu. You want to enable it and Select allow, got it. So that's our accessibility menu, great. So once you have enabled that, we're gonna go back to the settings page. There we go. And from here, we're gonna now go to apps right over here. Then I'm gonna select all apps, tap on the three dots and select show system. And we're gonna now, once we see the system, gonna start with the Android setup. So we're gonna start off with this one. As you can see, there's two of them. And you wanna start with this one with the clock icon. So you wanna click on it. I'm gonna then select disable, disable up. And also we're gonna select for stop and select okay. I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna select the second Android setup right here and we're gonna simply force stop it and then go back and now we're gonna scroll down to google play services there we go google play services click on it and just as before we're gonna select disable disable app and we're gonna go back let me make sure Okay, so we have disabled this. I'm reading right now what I need to do next. Okay, so once we have disabled this application, we're gonna now simply back out all the way right here. And we're gonna go through the setup.
Okay, there is one little thing that I should mention. It did say that we need to wait about 10 seconds uh, before we back out all the way, uh, which I kind of did by reading the guide, so yeah. Anyway, from here we're gonna select get started. Gonna skip this. Now there is a chance that I might not be able to finish this because I did connect to Wi-Fi, but I guess I'll find out. Uh, I'm not sure if you just seen what I did. I tapped on this three dots, assistant, and then enabled Google Play services. But yeah, that didn't do anything. Oh no, it did. Actually, I think it worked. So we can now select skip, hopefully. Okay, so uh, I'll mention one of the things. If uh, you also looked at the guide that is in the description, you will see that there was a little bit of a difference in what it says that we need to do and what I actually did. So in the guide, it told us that we basically have a new button to set it up offline. But I believe because I did connect to Wi-Fi right from the get go, I didn't have that button. So what I did was select the, the, those three dots from the, uh, the uh, what is it, the accessibility menu that I added and selected assistant and that gave me the settings button right here that appeared throughout the setup. Once you click on it, it opened up the page for Google Play services where I selected enable in this area. And enabling services allowed the page to go further but not actually look for the, uh, for the verification. Now anyway, even though we are still, well, not still, but like even though we are right now on the home screen, the device technically is still locked. So what you need to do right now is navigate into the settings and then scroll down to system. And then you want to select reset options, erase all data, factory reset, erase all data, and then press on that once again. This will basically begin the factory reset of the device and it will take about a minute or so. Actually, you know, it's fairly quick on this device, so I'm going to go through it just so you can see. So, yeah, it will go through the factory reset, and by doing a factory reset through settings, this also removes any kind of um, accounts and security measures that were previously used on this device. So the pattern that, was, that we needed to verify, gone, along with the Google account that we needed to verify, it's also gone. So once you have... Once this is finished, we are back in the setup screen, but at that point, you can set up your device however you like. It is fully unlocked at that point. Okay, so there's the setup screen. I can already tell you that it is unlocked. There is no uh, little lock right here in the corner that would usually be there if the device is, well, locked FRP-wise. So I'm gonna skip this, set it up offline because we don't need to connect to network anymore. Like I mentioned before, you can set up the device however you like at this point. It is fully unlocked. And there we go. That is the setup and complete bypass. So, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.